Hello guys, so today we are going to see a tutorial on creating batch files. Not any batch file, but a batch file that can shut down some victim's PC. So let's move on. First of all, we need to create a text document. In this text document, we shall write our command which is shut down hyphen s hyphen f hyphen t 60. Okay. Shut down is a command to shut down the computer and dash s means shut down. If you are giving hyphen r, it means reboot the computer. Hyphen f stands for force close all the applications that are running in the background. For example, sometimes you must have seen that uh, while shutting down your PC, you have a message pop up that says force quit some apps that are running in the background. So yeah, this pretty much does that. So next you have to set the time. Now let's set the time to 60 seconds. That's what I've done here. So now this will be our command. But we cannot run this directly. What we have to do is we have to modify this command so that it is a little bit cheesy and little bit clever. So how do we do this? We add echo off. What this will do is this will not echo our command. This whole command shut down will not be displayed on the command screen. Next, we can give a title name. This title name will change the title of the command prompt. For example, we can give it to be warning. But this is just a cheesy line and we don't need this. Let's move ahead. We can save this document. Okay. Save as. And now you need to select all files here and save it as shut.bat. Okay. You can see that in my desktop, there's a shut.bat file. Now we don't know what will happen when we run that. Now another thing that we need to know is the command shutdown hyphen A. Shutdown hyphen A. This command is to abort any shutdown that has been scheduled. And this will come in handy. Let's see. Now I'm executing the shut.bat file. Okay, there you go. We saw that the batch file is just executed and this command prompt window that popped up did not show us any of the commands. That is because of our at echo of title. Now we know that the shutdown has been started or scheduled. Now we need to open the command prompt. Yeah, here I got the message. You are about to be signed off. Windows will shut down in one minute. Now before this one minute, I have to abort this shutdown. There. Log off is cancelled. The scheduled shutdown has been cancelled. So keep in hand this command shutdown hyphen a so that you can abort the shutdown if by mistake you have used it anywhere. Okay. Let's remove this. Okay, so now we have this shut.bat with us. Now just imagine what can we do with this shut.bat file. Okay, for starters, let's copy this file in our startup. A startup is a place where the program's memories are stored like with every boot of the computer and every startup of the OS, the startup folder's applications are run in the first. So let's open this startup folder. And the command for it is type shell colon startup in the run. This. So here you have been directly set up to the startup folder. Now copy this shut.bat file into this startup folder. So every time I am shutting down my computer and starting my PC, I will get this shut.bat file at the startup folder. So this shut.bat file will be executed and my PC will go shut down quickly. Next, what we can do to enhance this attack? Let's cut it back and keep it here. Okay. Now, we will create another batch file. Let's say copy.txt. Yeah, we'll change this again. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the shut.bat file through this copy txt of copy dot sorry copy dot bat file will copy the shut dot bat file into the startup so let's 
copy shut dot bat to the destination and our destination is percentage app data percentage this will take you directly to this folder app data roaming now we need to go into microsoft windows start menu programs and startup so let's copy our directory and paste it over here so this will be our directory where we want to copy the shut.bat file now we have to save this like previously all files go for copy.bat and save it there we can see that there's a copy.bat file has been created so let's run the copy.bat file yeah just double click on it and you can see that it has run now let's check our startup yeah that's sweet we just copied our shut.bat file with the help of another batch file just remember not to let this hanging around in your startup file now what you can do with this is for starters you can copy these both files into a pen drive and insert it into any of your victim's laptop or computer and run this copy.bat file this copy.bat file will automatically copy the shut.bat file into the victim's startup computer and rest is havoc happy hacking guys Thank you.